Real quick, I wanna go over five real tips that can help you reach your goals in this case that just so happens to be getting sponsored in the FPV drone community or industry. This is a story not unlike your own. This is a story of passion, creativity, disappointment, failure, and success. This is a story of how I got sponsored by Rotor Riot. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Ickyverse. Thanks for being here. I am so excited to share with you the some tips that I've got to help you reach your goals, be it sponsorship in the FPV hobby or anything else in the world because most of these will pertain to pretty much a life in general. But I do have a couple specific ones for you and then we're gonna get into the top five that I've got right off the top of my head. One of the, the freebies that I've got for you is to Find your thing, and that is a lot harder than it sounds. Yeah. Pretty much find what is so easy for you to do that you can do it over and 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 not get bored of it, not get tired of it. It doesn't matter if it's the popular thing in the industry. It doesn't matter if no one's doing it and you don't think anybody will like it. If it's your thing, if it makes you happy, if it is what makes you, you, you know, if it's your individuality, do it. And the second freebie that I've got for you before we get into the top five tips for getting sponsored in the FPV hobby is patience. Gosh, it, if only it were that easy, seriously. Just keep doing it. Just just keep chipping away. If it's if it's something you enjoy, if if you're enjoying the process of of entertaining others and of making the connections and of you know going out and shooting and editing, doing all these things, just keep doing it. And you know what? If it doesn't work. If you just if you just reach your breaking point and you've had all the patience you can have and it's still not working for you, you got to make that choice. Either keep doing it, keep having patience, or just move on. We don't always get what we want, but we get to choose how to feel about that. We get to choose to be positive in the face of adversity. And it's a constant struggle. It's a constant battle. So with that being said, let's get to it. Number one, be positive always in life, in general, around your friends, around your family, around just yourself. Be positive. Lift yourself up. Lift others up around you. That will spread throughout your entire life. If you just plant the seed, it will grow. Number two is obvious, but I want to elaborate. Create good, entertaining, engaging content. So what I mean by that is look at what you like in other people's content. Pick out the things that you like. Analyze it. Figure out why you specifically like it. See if that's what other people like about that content and then do it. Okay? You're not copying someone else. You're not, um, you know, being unoriginal. You do it in your own way, all right? So if you like the way, you know, I shoot my B-roll, for instance, and you see that other people enjoy that as well, and you see that that's why I'm getting a lot of attention, that I shoot uh, in a cinematic fashion, you know, hit me up, let me know, ask me some questions, do the things that you see other people liking and do the things that you like but do them consciously in a formal manner. Don't just go out and do and shoot things thinking that it's in that way or that it looks like it and then send it out to the world and then wonder why people aren't picking it up. And this brings us to number three because it's kind of part of it. It's all part of itself. You will fail no matter what, even if you do all of that right, you do everything the right way you will fail. That's not a if, that's not maybe you'll fail. You will fail. Failure is good, okay? Failure is key to growing. 
you're going to put that footage out. I'm, I put my videos out all the time and they fail miserably based off of my metric of success. So through that failure brings us to number four, grow from your failure. Okay. Grow from, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, the formal meaning of failure or a giant failure. It just means that if you look at your footage and, or your video and you, and you watch it and you go, mm, man, like I kind of dwelled on this last shot a couple seconds too long. And I feel like I get kind of bored right here. Let me ask my friends. They kind of feel the same way. Grow from that. Fix it. Don't do it again. But quit putting out the same exact content all the time and expecting different results. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same exact flight footage or the same exact spot. It just means quit doing the same thing and expecting different results. But don't flip-flop and change dramatically back and forth. You grow from your mistakes. You grow from your failures. And you be positive about it. It's hard. It's not easy. If it were easy, everyone could do it. Everyone would be successful. Everyone would be where you want to be right now. And they're not. Number five is pretty important. And see, I could have made so many more tips, but I wanted to crunch them down into something edible, something you can really go through it in your mind and think daily, am I doing this? And number five is be engaged in the community. Now, like I said, this is going to pertain to being sponsored in the FPV drone community and industry, but this could, all these tips could pertain to anything. Be engaged. It goes, where, it goes along with being positive to yourself and others and planting that seed of positivity and happiness, but be engaged in the community. And I don't mean like and comment on people's videos. I don't mean posting your videos on Facebook and on Instagram and, and commenting on other people's things. I mean really, really be engaged. Care. People pick up on that. They really do. And you may not think they do, but they pick up on that. Give a shit. Actually give a shit. And you may have to step back and, and have that conversation with yourself, that internal conversation of, man, do I really care about the people that I'm talking to and the comments that I'm creating? And you may be surprised with the answer because it's easy to get into this, this rut of just, you know, constantly, yeah, hey man, great footage, hey, blah, 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 blah. And you may be having engaging conversations with these people, but you these people, but you really have to care. They will pick up on that. Make the community better. Make the community what you want it to be. Because that is our power. That is what we're here for as entertainers, as creators. We're not here to to serve ourselves. We're not here to get a million likes and 10,000 followers and subscribers and free shit and all this stuff. We're there for you. We're there for the people that watch our videos. We're there for the community because they are entertained by what we do and it is something that makes us happy. And through that is the bond that will that will never fail. If you can find that path, I promise you, I promise you it is rewarding and it is better than any million likes and followers and subscribers you can get. It is a daily battle. It is not easy. The most successful people out there fight with it every single day, but you have got to reel yourself in and find your center and enjoy what you do. Enjoy entertaining others. Enjoy spreading positivity and joy and building up the community as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you haven't already, some great things are coming. Thank you so much to Chad over there at Road to Riot, all the guys over at Road to Riot. Thank you so much for the sponsorship. It's an opportunity that I will not let go to waste. Thank you to all of my friends, my supporters, my family. You guys have no idea. My Patreons, you guys are the only reason that I'm still here doing this. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm still no good at, at ending videos. I just sit here all awkward like, uh, bye.